have uh, plenty to say. The first, the first time you met, it was uh, dramatic to say the least. If people hadn't seen the fight, Liam here had the advantage in the early rounds, was boxing beautifully, and then in the later rounds, Liam here <laughs> came on strong, whether by fair means or foul, people will have their own view on that, and I don't, don't doubt that we'll, we'll hear about that now. Tell us, first of all, as a challenger here, what you would say that fight, what are your memories of that, Liam? Because you boxed brilliantly early on. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a very good fight. Um, I felt like it started very well. Um, you know, I was outboxing Liam, getting, you know, getting a lot of rounds in the bag, and um, you know, he was, he was coming on strong, which, which we always prepared for anyway. That's, that's the type of fight that Liam is. Um, you know, he comes with, with a very solid defence, and he's very strong, you know, he keeps bringing it, so we was always prepared for that, but um, obviously it ended the way it did. It weren't, it weren't really a fair outcome, we didn't give everybody the chance to see what the proper outcome should have been. Um, I obviously took a nasty, nasty head, um, you know, to the eye of a drop of a cut, and, um, you know, these things happen, it's not a, it's not a tickling contest, is it? So, you know, you've got to accept it, and I'm glad we get a chance to do it again. I'll return to that in, in a moment or two, because we've got to talk more about the controversy which unfolded in the latter stages of the fight. But first of all, let's, uh, let's hear from Liam. He, do you accept that he was boxing perhaps better than most people anticipated, probably better than I anticipated, and Richie Woodall, who was alongside me uh, in the commentary box? Were you surprised how well he boxed in that, in that fight? No, I knew he was a good fighter at Spartan, I knew he was a good fighter. We well, weren't surprised at all. I tried to say it beforehand, he, he was a good fighter from, from his side. But again, I think you didn't have to be a good fighter to be beating me in the first six rounds in that fight. You know, I, I, I was slow, I was flat, and you know, obviously, I know Gary Locke not stupid, I know he'd been a, been a boxer all his life. I can never be that bad a start ever again. You know, the, the weight killed me, what I'd done. What I done to try and make the weight in the fight we cancelled away everything I'd done beforehand and you know I was flat, I was slow, it was nothing to do with having a slow start by game plan. It was I, I, I couldn't be any sharper, I was you know, I was flat and sluggish. Liam had a good start, I couldn't be no worse. There's, there's ten fighters in Britain who probably couldn't have boxed me on that night. We were you worried at six rounds that this is going just horribly wrong? And I'm going to have my pants taken down here and just be out No, no, never in a million years because I know I've got that to change it and that's what did change it. And, uh, and again, if, if the chips are down and I'm not there, I've got other things that'll change a fight. And I know I, I changed the fight into the fight that I wanted on that night. And it was, you know, it was me who changed the fight into, into my favour. He's had his good start and, you know, there was only one long, long way. You would obviously say you turned the fight in your favour fairly. Some people, maybe Liam would say, that he got head-butted deliberately. What, what, what was your take on it? Yeah, you know, I think um, he was obviously he was obviously down in the fight. He needed to do something. I'm not saying, you know, he thought I ran the head in and cut him open and went that way, but it was frustration and, you know, I, I do believe it was intentional, yeah. Liam? The fight was changing before, man. Uh, you, you, <coughs> You, he threw his head in numerous times because I didn't get cut off it. I cut him when I, when I threw it, so it took the whole blame on my side. Regardless, you go in the rain, you get wet. How many, how many air crosses have you seen cut, caused by? How many? Hundreds. Hundreds. The minute you got caught, you knew the chip was down. You spewed it, you jibbed it. No, and no. if you never, well, if you never, Gary did, and one of you's made the mistake because you've been world champion sitting here right now. If you're saying what was to do, you could have pissed the nine minutes, which everyone knew you couldn't have. If you could have pissed them nine minutes, but do you, do you not think I didn't have the time? No. No I was way. Then, no. You, you, you go back to round nine, you think you had another three rounds in yeah? Yeah. No, I no, was not a chance. So why did you just view it? Because I couldn't see a fucking thing. Couldn't see, you've got a picture right. with, with, your, with your whole eye open. You have to close uh, on your skin. I, I, I and like you're saying, you could have went blind mm -hmm. and you could have lost your eyelids. I, did, I, didn't went, know that. I didn't know that at the time, but I knew it was bad, I couldn't see a thing. So what, when you explain why I threw myself off my feet. You never got told it, so you got back to changing when the doctor told you. 
that after the fight you already chose the spirit that you meant to be a fighter. Yeah, you chose to let like guy pull you out. Which no. explains why I nearly threw myself off my feet trying you know trying to do the punch in the last one. Which you were right. absolutely fucked, that's why. You missed that yeah, and you couldn't fall over. Yeah. You but couldn't see. We get we get another chance to do it so but, you know, but let's get questions from the end. That's fair, we've got another chance with you, that's why we're here. But on that man, you spewed it. Yeah. You let right, Gary yeah. pull it on. Yeah, well, so you, know, you, you, you keep believing that. That's, that's where you're gonna that's gonna be down for. So why didn't you carry on? Did, did the cup bother you? Do you know last yeah. time I said to you put a foot in the room over there, only one person will come out? Yeah. That sums up why why I was right. No, no. Well, you're gonna get more than a foot on a little cut in the room over yeah, there. Yeah, I can't see on my right eye. It was the most so, it was the most sensible thing to do. Did I know that blood in my eye? It obviously went as bad though, was it? Blood in the eye the same thing. Was your eye closed? No, you had a cut no, on your lid. Yeah, you had a cut it. on your eyelid, which every fight you get cut on the eye, it has a cut on the eyelid. Your eye went swelled shut. I didn't see it. So how well, could you not see me? I couldn't see on my eye. Because there's a bit of blood in your eye? Yeah. Tom, do you have blood in your eye and you got cut, mate? Yeah, blood in your eye, yeah. I blood in mine as well. Obviously, you obviously, we're, enough. Enough. obviously we're enough. Obviously we're enough. You get cut. It weren't enough to stop a fight, no? 100%. You just got a bit of balls. You just got a bit of balls. You spewed it because right. you knew you'd had your moment and you were gone. Yeah. So, what will be different this time? You get out there into the fight, you've heard what he thinks happened last time, you've got your own thoughts about it. What happens this time? You know, th this time we definitely, we're both going to come, we're both going to be better again. Um, I honestly believe, you know, Liam did have a slow start. And this time he's gonna come out a lot better, but I'm gonna be more prepared as well. And you know, it's gonna be another cracking fight, and he's gonna decide, you know, it's and gonna, it's, it's gonna promise better. It's a case of repeat or revenge, isn't it? You know, yeah, I mean, he, he, if, if you lose again, if you unfolded in the latter rounds, would you feel if, if I lose in a, in a fair manner, I'll hold my hands up and you know, I'll accept defeat, and I'll come back like you know, come back like a man and take it on the chin. Liam, what do you want to get out there and, and prove and show? Yeah, I, Frank will tell you, openly tell you, I was on for this rematch and that's why we're here now. I was straight on, I, I cannot be no worse in that fight. Liam started well, I never once not said he didn't. He, he boxed well, he, he's, he's not, not a good fighter, he's a good fighter, he's always going to start well. The rematch will be along the same line from Liam, but, but I can't be no worse. So as soon as I start better, Liam's in more of a fight early on and he's not getting his own way. Then it's only going to go one way, and he'll crumble earlier than he did last time. Do you feel that you're physically the stronger man? Is that the key, or is it just yeah, the fighting heart, or what? No, uh, just everything about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm stronger than him. I've got more heart than him. Yeah, definitely. And you'll prove that wrong. Yeah, of course. I'll do my best to prove it wrong, then. Yeah. In what way? There's a lot of things I can change with that fight. You've got you've got one style. You're physically stronger. Yeah, but you've got one style. And it was enough to it was enough to bully you. You didn't bully me for one knock. Were you chipped it? Why didn't you, why didn't you carry on? You would have been world champion right now. Didn't bully me for one knock. Everyone sitting on this table here yeah, wants to be world champion. You could have been it if you did not let a cut body yet. Put your shit yourself off a cut. Yeah, of course. I think it's fair to share. It's fair to say there's uh, a, a, bit little, bit, a little bit of edge, isn't it, Frank? I guess like me. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to get, we're going to be in for something special tonight. Um, yeah, they are two great fighters. Um, two great British fighters, and uh, as I say, they've got a lot to go for. Besides the fact that they want to you know, win the w, WBO title, someone wants to be champion. The most important thing is is their pride is at stake. Like all fighters, have got lots of pride, but I think in this case, there's going to be a lot of pride at stake. There certainly is, and uh, it's one which I'm personally looking forward to massively. You know, so I thought it was a I thought it was a great fight from my perspective. I'll sell you a ticket. Oh, it was great to oh, bottle. <laughs> it was such a, it was such a good fight to commentate it on. Is, it was one of the best. It was a cracker, and, uh, and it's going to be a game next time. No doubt about that. Well, all the guys are here, and uh, please, can you now, if you're uh, here representing whoever, if you've got any questions, if you want to wind them up a little bit more than I have done, now's the moment. Any questions from the floor? So, both Liam, start with Liam. What will you both, what will you do differently this time, Liam, apart from starting? The weight, Steve. I think the weight was just a massive, a massive part in the fight. I was, I was fit, obviously. You know, I was fit to, to still be in the fight, still be coming on strong in, in round nine. You know, going into round ten, I, I ran blown. You know, it was nothing fitness-wise out, out, out to me. It was obviously the weight and what I done to, what I left fight week took a lot of, 
you know, a little snap out to me and uh, uh, to, it, it played a big part in, in the in the start for me from my point of view, Steve. So that's what I'll do right this time. If I do that right this time, then I know, you know, I know I'll have no problems, but also, you know, you've got no excuses from my end. How did you go wrong though, last few days? Have from the Canelo fight, Steve, I just left it too late, you know, I, I, I went too heavy. Um, I had a long layoff, and you know, every fight that's fight, I'll tell you, I had a long layoff. You know, it was, it was hard to come off, and you know, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm still a light middleweight, and I'm never, I've not glued the weight, you know, I've made the weight less than 12 years ago. And, you know, obviously, I was in touch and distance there, but just on that day, it, it wouldn't come out to me. And you know, you only got to say it at the time. And I was told I had an hour, and I went, I went going to make it. So, you know, I, I took that on the chin. I faced the consequences I faced, but you know, I still went ahead with it and still, still fought the fight before. But you know, the rematch can't be, can't be no worse for me. That's one I'm looking forward to see. Liam, what will you do differently this time? You have to take your box so well. Said the first half of the fight. Yeah, there's an, <clears throat> there's actually a number of things you know that would change and no not a great deal but just you can't certain, change that. Certain, it's one thing you can't change though. Certain, certain little tweaks. Yeah. Liam's only got one style. You can't change that. Liam's can only fight, fight, fight one way. Sure, so I'm not, he's not speaking to. So um yeah, there's there's not a lot Liam can change. He's still, he fights one way. Um, I can do a number of things. You know, there's a little change I'll make. Um, yeah, I just honestly believe that next time, as long as I come in 100% prepared, I'll, I'll get the job done. Liam Williams, uh, this was a small part of you, but obviously that fire from itself. Yeah, when I look back, you know, but, um, you know, when I think about it as well, I did, I did have a nasty cut, and it's all well and good looking back and saying, could I have carried on, you know, but shit happens and just got to take it on the chin.